Welcome to Herman Hits the Road. In this video, we're going to be continuing our tour of New Zealand, but not in Herman, instead in this, which we're calling Rusty. Welcome to day six of our tour around New Zealand. We left Albert Town campsite and headed south to Queenstown, which is probably the biggest adventure playground of the whole of New Zealand. A place where you can do all sorts of water sports, helicopter rides, skydiving, boat cruises and skiing and many, many other things. From where we were in Wanaka, there was a shortcut across the mountain range called the Crown Range Road, but our rental company forbade us from using it. Not sure why, we assumed it was because it was a twisty, steep, single track road. Instead, we had to go along Highway 6, which followed the Kawaro River, which added an hour to our journey, but we had some amazing views. The river was to our left and mostly out of sight down a steep crevasse, but when it did pop into view, it did look amazing. There was also a jet boat ride along this road, which I would love to have done. Just imagine jet boating along a narrow river with high rock walls. It must be amazing. We stopped off at Roaring Meg, which was a bit of a disappointment. We were expecting a huge waterfall, but it seems that the electric company is using it to make power. And this is all you can see. The views of the river though, they look great. So this is the road we've just been following and uh, it's been following the gully and this river here if you look over here it's a platform we can see roaring meg so there is roaring meg very impressive scenery as it curves around imagine doing that jet boating along here though we went past a jet boat in place just uh, five minutes up the road. So I'm guessing that they're going to go and go up this river. We arrived in Queenstown. It's a bit like any other tourist seaside town really. There are many bars, eateries and many 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 adventure type excursion stores. But we needed to find a cheap place to stay for the night so we drove on through. We'll visit Queenstown tomorrow. Okay so we have arrived at Queenstown. In fact we drove through Queenstown and we've ended up here. We're about 10 kilometers west of Queenstown at a campsite called 12 Mile Delta campsite. It was $15 per person, so which isn't too bad, is it? Well, some people say it's quite expensive because you haven't got electric, have you? Or there's you no facilities. No. You've there's got no electric. water, but it's untreated here. Yeah, you can't drink the water here. You've got to boil it before <clears> you. So we probably won't be using that. We've got a full tank anyway. Yeah. We filled up before we, we left, here. didn't we? Yeah. Toilets are they're just so, the hole in the ground kind of ones. Uh, but the scenery here is spectacular. Just look, Mount. mountains, mountain on the doorstep. You've got those mountains just over through there, which is where Queenstown is. You've got these mountains here. Now I've just forgotten what these were called. <laughs> yeah, forgot about what these mountains are called, but still got snow on them. So they are quite high. Uh, and then in that direction, just over there is where we're going uh, in a moment, is uh, Lake Wakapichu. Wakapichu, what do you think? <laughs> I hope I'm <laughs> pronouncing that right. But I bet you'd love to see this from a bird's eye view now, wouldn't you? Take a look at this.
morning everyone. It is day seven here in New Zealand. It's Saturday the 26th of October and it is about 20 to 9 in the morning. We had a good sleep last night. It wasn't too cold. We just wake up being surrounded by mountains. It's fantastic here. Very quiet. All I can really hear is some road noise but lots and lots of birds. Being in near so near to Queenstown, we could, uh, could do lots of different things. We could go uh, skydiving. We could go on uh, the riverboat, <clears throat> which apparently is called the TSS Earnslaw. Canoeing or uh, horseback riding or water skiing, uh, jet, uh, jet skiing water skiing, anything like that. Keep tuned in to see what we end up doing. So there's no free parking in Queenstown. Uh, however, if you go uh, west out of town, there's a like a, well, this place here and all along, it's free parking. And, and there's a little kind of a bay here uh, where we parked, free parking for four hours. So uh, that's what we're going to do, we're going to park there, and we're going to head into town. It's probably a kilometre walk, maybe? I don't know. We hope it's not far. And uh, check it out! There goes the Urnslaw. Look how small it looks against that big mountain. It's quite a large boat, actually. Perfect day for a riverboat cruise. So we decided to go on a riverboat ride on the Spirit of Queenstown. I think it's a catamaran. Because... Oh, it's a twin hull, rather. Can you see these two craft here? These are submarines. Just carry two people, the driver and the tourist. That is cool, I've seen these on television. They actually go underwater and swim like dolphins. They actually look like dolphins. I don't know where you can hire these out, but that would be really cool if we could get in one of them. But instead, we're going on the Spirit of Queenstown, which is a, uh, a cruise ship, basically. Um, and we're going to go in that direction, see the mountains, do a bit of a circle and come back again. So it should be quite cool, hopefully. That's the one thing about these ships, everything needs refueling. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the Spirit of Queenstown and Lake Wakatipu. We've now left Queenstown, we're sailing and on the right here we can just make out our motorhome, there's Rusty just there <laughs> and I think I can see someone breaking inside of it. <laughs> Hello Rusty! Ta-da Rusty! So the back's open. <laughs> We're motoring now. We're just coming up on our campsite. From here, you can just about make out the campsite we stayed in last night called 12 Mile Delta. One of these mountains is called Bob's Peak. It's either that one or that one. So this is Bob's Cove. You're in your Bob's Cove. <laughs> well, Bob, he gets everywhere. It's beautiful. There's some people over there, see if I'm getting a wave. I love the water though. It's very warm now and nice and peaceful rather than He's motoring. Going fast, yeah, it's isn't going it? a bit fast, a bit windy. I think we've chosen the best day for it though, don't yes. you think? Yes. Uh, spontaneity really, isn't it? Yeah. Because we don't 
book anything in advance? No. Not us, I No, we make it up as we go along. <laughs> we bought the same face. <laughs> Here you can see a section of the Glenorchy Queenstown Road, said to be one of the most scenic roads in New Zealand. We've stopped, we are halfway, and uh, these people have just got off. They're going to be doing the Mount Nicholas farm tour, and uh, these people down here, they're going to be doing the station to station tour which basically means they're gonna they've rented these bikes and they're gonna be cycling over in this direction along the mountain a bit along the coast to another point where we're gonna stop and uh, the next boat that will come and pick them up so they got about two and a half hours to do that cycling and uh, that sounds quite interesting if you ask me I uh, would like to have done that, but it's just taking too long, really, I think. And uh, it sounds too energetic. But yeah, it sounded really cool. Anyway, we're going to be getting away again soon and uh, heading back to Queenstown. Queenstown and it's nestled just underneath this mountain here or this large hill and if you look over bay over the lake you see the remarkables just fancy waking up in and seeing that every morning after a fabulous day on Wakapitu Lake we decided to take the scenic road to Glenorchy and it didn't disappoint It is now in the afternoon, it's quarter to six actually, and uh, we've driven all the way along the uh, Lake Wakapitu uh, to Glenochry, uh, to the Glenochry Hotel. Now that might sound weird being in a camper, but um, let me show you this. Through here, there's, a, there's Rusty. They take campers, so we're parking in there for $12 with well with electric i don't know with electric or but if you eat in there I but if we free. eat in the hotel and apparently they do good fish and chips then uh it's free so that's what we're going to be doing tonight and it is uh it's not the final is it i think it's a semi-final for the world cup new zealand against england so uh, that is going to be a right fight in there. No, it's not going to be a fight. It's going to be actually very interesting. Just met two people from the Glenlochry Hotel who are actually English. Two, two members of staff are actually English. But anyway, let me show you on the map where we are. Map of Mount Aspiring National Park. So there is Queenstown, is where we were. In fact, we camped about there I think it was yeah and then Bob's we've now driven all the way up here this is a great road by the way to Glenochry just there all right so we've got a bit of time before our evening meal and the game the game starts in a couple of hours and uh, so we're gonna have a little wander around here and we're doing washing here as well they do uh, they've got a laundromat so we're doing some washing, hence why I haven't got my red top on. Ooh. So standing in the middle of the road, this is the hotel, the front side of the hotel, or the bar. Uh, just looking around, we see these mountains 
mountains everywhere. In fact, now you can't see the tops of them because of the clouds. But uh, this is a kind of building that we're uh, that we're going to be seeing in Lo um, Glenochry. This is a, the Bold Peak Lodge. Mountains, no. mountains, lodge, mountains, invisible mountains. Just incredible. So right here we have the very north of Lake Wakapichu and uh, this is basically a river I do believe and again there's mountains look at them mountains and the color of the water here is completely different it's brown whereas the actual lake is blue almost turquoise well you probably already know that England beat New Zealand in the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup to find out what happened though in the pub full of New Zealanders, you'll have to watch our next video for a report. Until then, thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a like, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can get notifications. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.